Pleading corrosion number 13. So which of the following are the desired effects of using allodyne and aluminum alloys? So number one, a slightly rough surface. And number four, an increased corrosion resistance. So which of the following are the desired effects of using allodyne on aluminum alloy? It, a, a slightly rough surface, it leaves a slightly rough surface, and it also increases the corrosion resistance. Slightly rough surface, increased corrosion resistance, number one and number four. Number 14, the presence of a passive oxide film. The presence of a passive oxide film. The presence of a passive oxide film. Which of the, of the listed conditions is not one of the requirements for corrosions to occur? Which of the listed conditions is not a requirement for the corrosion to occur? A presence of a passive oxide film. A presence of a passive oxide film. Number 15, exfoliation. 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 The lifting or flaking of the metal at the surface due to delamination of grain boundaries caused by the pressure of corrosion residual product buildup is called exfoliation. Exfoliation. Lifting or flaking of the metal at the surface due to delamination of grain boundaries caused by the pressure of corrosion residual products buildup is called exfoliation exfoliation number 16 allodizing 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 a non electrolytic chemical treatment for aluminum alloys to increase corrosion resistance and paint bonding is called allodizing allodizing a non electrolytic chemical treatment for aluminum alloys to increase corrosion resistance and paint bonding qualities is called allodizing. Number 17. Which of the following is our acceptable use in cleaning anodized surfaces? It's number three and number five. Aluminum wool and fiber bristle brush aluminum wool and fiber bristle brush which of the followings are acceptable to use in cleaning anodized surfaces Alum uh, aluminum wool and fiber bristle brush aluminum wool fiber bristle watch three and five number 18 cannot always be detected by surface indications cannot always be detected by surface indications Intergranular corrosion in aluminum alloy parts cannot always be detected by surface indication. Cannot always be detected by surface indications. Intergranular corrosion in aluminum alloy parts cannot always be detected by surface indications. Number 19, intergranular corrosion. Intergranular corrosion. Which of the following may not be detectable even by careful visual inspection of the surface of aluminum, aluminum alloy parts or structures? It's intergranular corrosion. Intergranular corrosion. Which of the following may not be detectable even by a careful visual inspection of the surface of aluminum alloy parts or structures? It's intergranular corrosion. Intergranular corrosion. Number 20, fine grit aluminum oxide. Fine grit aluminum oxide. Fine grit aluminum oxide. What may be used to remove corrosion from highly stressed steel surfaces? It's fine grit aluminum oxide. Fine grit aluminum oxide. What may be used to remove corrosion from highly stressed steel surfaces? It's fine grit aluminum oxide. Number 21, improper heat treatment. Improper heat treatment. A primary cause of intergranular corrosion is an improper heat treatment. Improper heat treatment. A primary cause of intergranular corrosion is improper heat treatment. Number 22, 
Stiff non-metallic brush. Stiff non-metallic brush. Corrosion should be removed from magnesium parts with a stiff non-metallic brush. Corrosion should be removed from magnesium parts with a stiff non-metallic brush. Stiff non-metallic brush. Number 23, the steel of corrosion preventative mixture will be broken. The seal of corrosion prevent, preventative mixture will be broken. So why is it important not to rotate the crankshaft after the corrosion preventative mixture has been put into the cylinders or engines prepared for storage? The seal of corrosion preventative mixtures will be broken. The seal of corrosion preventative mixtures will be broken. It is important not to rotate the crankshaft after the corrosion preventative mixture has been put into the cylinders on engines for being prepared for storage. The seal of corrosion preventative mixtures will be broken. Number 24, flush the surface with clean water. Flush the surface with clean water. Flush the surface with clean water. Which of the following is an acceptable first step procedure to help prevent scratching when cleaning a transparent plastic surface? Flush the surface with clean water. Flush the surface with clean water. All right, guys, take a quick quiz, and I'll see you soon.